feels empty now The pain builds up inside I tried so many times To imagine that you're here Pretend you're coming back Pretend that you're still near But it's no use now You've moved on But just remember Remember me, my love Don't have a wash away those tears We both cry And as we go our separate ways I remember you each day And maybe one day you'll return With my broken Everybody, 
Here's Giada Valenti here in Las Vegas. Sun is a shiny as every day. And even when it's not shiny, we put a smile on it and we know that it will be shining tomorrow, the sun, right? The sun is always there, even be, uh, above, above the clouds. But it's shining today. We have a nice temperature. It's not actually that hot for this time of the year, which uh, it's very pleasant. Five o'clock uh, uh, in the afternoon for you guys on uh, New York City and the East Coast. Central time is 4 p.m. And good morning to all the Australian people. I've seen some of them already uh, waiting for me here today. And of course, uh, uh, buonanotte quasi, because it's 11 p.m., ora 23 della sera, Italia, Francia, Spagna, 22 for you guys in Ireland and England, Antonio and Richard and all my friends watching from that side of the world. And if you, where are you guys watching from? I see today we are cooking. Today we are cooking, we are in I'm a chef today, at least a wannabe chef. Normally, you know, I am a singer born and raised in Venice, Italy, the city with the gondola. But today I'm here in the kitchen, in my kitchen in Las Vegas, uh, cooking something I, uh, I love uh, to eat myself because, you know, I will be having lunch soon after this Jada life. Um, today is going to be uh, 87 days together, which, I mean, friends and family we have been together for so long and i i started to became friends with some of you that i've i've, I've, I've seen some of you every day i feel like i know you even though we have never met and uh, surely i hope that when covid 19 will allow it, we will be traveling and i hope to see you either here in las vegas or who knows australia because i've never been there and i surely hope to come one day england france whatever or why not? Maybe Italy. You know that every year I do this trip to Italy. Of course, I skip this October because we don't know if by October we may have the vaccine, even though I've heard that uh, some country has already ordered them because apparently they've been able to find something that uh, we can use and uh, is safe. So who knows? Maybe soon we are going to have the major news that we can get a vaccine so we can uh, get immunity to COVID-19 and we can see each other. We can embrace each other. I can do concert with people in the theater this is something i'm really gonna miss a lot talking of concert you know uh, i'm gonna be doing a concert uh, june 26 so it's coming up in uh, less than two weeks with daniel Emmett. close to you because that's what we would love to be close to you of course we are gonna film it here from uh, um, the space in las vegas which is a beautiful theater with an audience of all, unfortunately so some some of you were saying i wish i could take a plane and come to you you cannot take the plane and come to me you can actually stay at home just buy your ticket sit on your couch and you can uh, watch the show the show we are coming Coming to you actually we are flying from Las Vegas to your living room together with Daniel and our amazing musicians yesterday I uh, did another rehearsal with uh, with Daniel you can hear from my voices a little bit low in tone today I've been singing every day and sleeping only four hours a night to do these things and to do uh, all the things I need to do and uh, yes, uh, yesterday actually we uh, rehearsed with uh, Jerry Williams they came from Los Angeles here to uh, Las Vegas he's amazing he's of course our musical director but he's gonna be he's normally also the musical director of Mary and uh, Donny Osmond for many 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 years amazing amazing uh, musicians and uh, without further ado let's start right away before we go to the birthday and the events of the day since i need to cook uh, my things for a few minutes while we'll be doing that one i'm gonna read the birthday and the events uh, but let's start right away to say what we are cooking today in my kitchen today on jada live we are making one of my favorite uh, recipe farfalle pasta with uh, peas peas and pancetta either pancetta or, or prosciutto cotto cooked ham i will tell you all about it uh, in in a second it's kind of a northern kind of recipe um you can make it in there are so many different variations today today i make the lighter one and by the way i know many of you are um vegetarian so you can do this recipe also actually without uh, the pancetta without without the meat so let's start right away with the ingredient while my pasta is uh, already uh, the water i'm going to put it on in a second so the pasta can cook so what you need is farfalle you can use any kind of other uh, short pasta i normally like farfalle for this because farfalle because of its shape Shape of the farfalle is very thick in the middle, so you always stay a little bit uh, uh, al dente, no matter how much you cook it. And the peas can go a little bit inside on the both sides of the farfalle. As you see, my farfalle today 
are a little bit smaller than normal because I decided to use uh, an all week version of them. Yesterday we've been talking that uh, many of us are in a kind of diet so we cannot have a lot of carbs. So this is an all wheat, so it's already a more kind of healthy choice if you are in any kind of diet. And Janet Sessa was asking me about the quinoa pasta. Well, there are many, many different brands. I shop at Trader Joe's, so I always buy the short pasta at uh, quinoa pasta at Trader Joe, and I like it because it stays kind of al dente. In my experience, the spaghetti, the, 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 when they are not really made of grain, um, they tend to uh, lose uh, the, the, the bite. So when you cook them, even if you cook them for one minute, they are gonna be a little bit floppy so that you can never get them really al dente. So when it comes to short pasta, I always uh, try to be more healthy, to go to more healthy choice. So I choose the quinoa, which doesn't have carbs, which is like eating a piece of meat. And if you are on a diet uh, like I am, um, always am, that's a good choice. But there are many, many brands, just quinoa, pasta, just try them all and try also the, 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 the spaghetti if you wanna try. Maybe you find a brand that, that it doesn't overcook, so you let me know which one it is so I can also make my spaghetti with. Tell me, JJ. Can you repeat where you buy all your stuff? I buy, uh, I shop in different places, but for my pasta, I shop at Trader Joe's. I think it's uh, available all, all over the United States. Guys, in Europe, you don't have it. We only have it here in the United States. But the good things about Europe, in Europe, we can find many brands. I think even Barilla, which we all know the pasta brand Barilla, I think they also made quinoa and uh, a lot of uh, uh, brands also made pasta made uh, of um, beans beans of any kind so it's pasta but it's like eating beans so it's still protein so there's no carbs and in europe we had uh, different brands but i think i saw my mom in italy uh, even buying uh, also made of orzo uh, from barilla so just go to the supermarket to the special edition pasta and you will find the one uh, that they are uh, with no carbs made with vegetable so the recipe of today as i said is you need farfalle, you need some piselli, we call it in Italy. Here you call them sweet peas. And they are, uh, today I'm gonna use peas from a can because they cook easily uh, when you made it from the cake. But if I have to make them really for when I, I'm not cooking for television, I like to buy them and use the frozen one. I like the frozen one because they are, I think they are more healthy than this one. They don't stay that long in this kind of liquid. They takes a little bit longer to cook. And if you gonna wanna go extreme, you can even buy the fresh pizzelli, you know, and take them out and wash them and rinse them. So when you use the fresh one, of course, they're even better, but then the, the cooking, let's say, require half an hour in place of 10 minutes to make uh, uh, the sauce for your pasta. So it depends on your time and schedule. Today I decided to use this one in a can, which are still good, actually. There is a vent, uh, good things about using the one in a can because they are already been in the water for so long. When you cook them, they tend to melt, so you get more kind of a creamy around your pasta. So. There is good and bad on everything, but normally I like to use the frozen one. They stay more uh, uh, inside, they don't break like this one will happen today, you will see it. Then you need, you, you need uh, some bacon, um, pancetta, sorry, no, no bacon, pancetta, which is, they call it the Italian uh, bacon, but it's completely different. It's uh, actually made of meat of pig. This is the meat of pig. Um, and uh, you can also use uh, for this recipe prosciutto cotto, which is cooked ham. Here in America, you guys in Europe don't have, in Australia, I don't know, but here in, in America they have two different variations. One has honing, so it's kind of sweet, which I totally dislike because for me meat is salty. So if you want to do this recipe and you want to use, use ham, try to buy the, no, the white without honing, so the, the, um, the salted one. Uh, if you ask, they have the one with honing or without for us in America. For us in Europe, I think almost all the prosciutto cotto, all the cooked ham does not have honing and it's always salty, it's never sugar. So you can use this one and as I said, if you are vegetarian, you can totally skip the meat. You can totally skip it. And then of course you need onions. You need an, an, a medium onion, yellow, like this one possibly. This was, mine was big one, so this is the half of the other one. So you can see this was a big one. So you need a little onion, like this one. You cut it in little pieces, like I did it. And you're gonna put in your pan some olive oil and we start to make our sauce. While I also gonna put the pasta on. So we put it on. Let me also start my pasta. Here we are. And we put the onions to saute in the olive oil. Thank you, Wes Roberts, for uh, this uh, little 
oven system that he gave me and for building this piece of wood so I can close my sink so I'm able to cook while I am talking to you and you can kind of see inside my my thing here so this is cooking it will take like a couple of minutes so while this one is sauteing a little bit before we put our pancetta inside it's a perfect time first of all to thank uh, um, Ronnie Manicotti for sending me this beautiful towel kitchen this one I really love because he said as you can see bless this home here we go so thank you Ronnie this is coming from let me lower my my fire here before the whole kitchen goes on fire so thank you Ronnie for sending me always this beautiful um, table things and they're coming actually also from the store of uh, uh, Molly Williams in William in uh, Miamisburg near Cincinnati so thank you guys for always sending me this beautiful one she actually also sent me this one which is another one of my favorite eat well laugh often and love always this is another one of my favorite Ronnie I have them all here with me as you can see so why my my chipola my onions is sauteing a little bit they're lower again I have to get used to this kind of electric thing of course because it's different than the normal stuff that I use so I can lower the temperature and we're gonna do thanks to Doug Hartley the birthday and events or the day when my onions is sauteing over there can you smell the onion by the way a delicious smell mm. So, sauteing today, June 13, events of the day. The first one is very, very funny. Listen to this. In 1920, today, the United States Post Office can no longer, can no longer send children by parcel post. It was cheaper to mail them than other forms of travel as they weighed less than 50 pounds. Believe it or not, I made some research. They said that when the post office parcel post officially began on January 1st, 1913, the new service suddenly allowed millions of Americans great access to all kinds of goods and services. In the early 20th centuries, the post office announced that people could also start shipping, was the beginning of Amazon, could start shipping large parcels and packages through the mail, and almost immediately, he had some unintended consequences, and some parents start to try to send their uh, children through the mail. In one famous case, on February 19, 1914, a four-year-old girl named Charlotte May Pierstoff was mailed via train from uh, uh, her home in Gregville, Idaho, to her grandparents' house about 73 miles away. Her story has become so legendary that it was even made into a children's book called Mailey May, JJ, you can show a picture, there she is, and that is mainly May, and by the way, I made some research, you can still buy that book, they buy it, many parents buy it for their children, and it's a, bit, a beautiful book, like a story tell about the journey of Mary, that was sell, sent by mail to her grandparents, but it stopped today in 1920. So thank you, Doug, for this information, a lot of fun. And in 1927, today, the city of New York stopped today to celebrate Charles Lindenberg for his epic journey from New York to Paris with a, a ticket tape parade. Millions of people came to the streets of New York. Well, we cannot wait to see the streets of New York uh, busy like that. I think New York should start this parade again. As soon as COVID-19 is over, we're gonna have any occasion possible to stay together and stay one next to the other, right? So, but anyway, it stopped that, that stop in 1927. And in 1978, the film Grease opened starring uh, John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John, one of my favorite, and was the highest grossing film of the year. Many of the film scenes were filmed in a different Venice than my Venice, Italy, in Venice, California. And that found a nice, uh, um, did you know? He said, did you know that due to the zipper breaking, break Olivia Newton-John, had to be soon into their very famous super tight black trousers. So there are the, uh, the trousers of her. Look how small they are. Oprah Winfrey is astonished about. And the zipper was breaking, so they were sewing her inside the pants. Funny of that. And here we go to the birthday of the day. And it starts for the one very far away, while my onion starts to saute a little bit. Can you guys see it? Look at that. Before we go to the birthday, at this moment, let's put inside, so 
so since it needs to brown a little bit. The pancetta, here we go. Never done this cooking while doing other things. And you know, they, as they say, you need to do one thing at a time. Well, today we're doing a lot of things at a time. This one doesn't have to cook a, a longer, so the, the onions, maybe you saw like 10 min, five minutes or something like that. The bacon doesn't have to cook much, so at this point you can put right away your piselli, your sweet peas. We are making farfalle with uh, sweet peas and pancetta, so we're gonna put our sweet peas inside. Here we go. And we put this one over there. So, I will say something now here. I know that Americans love salt, and I do love salt too, but we have to cut down on salt. Since we are gonna be putting some, some chicken broth or vegetable broth in was already salt inside, I would say don't put salt in this. Just put some chicken broth. This is, actually, this is a vegetable one, but you can also have chicken broth, and you let it cook for a few minutes. The only thing that I would suggest that you add is a little bit either of pepper, if you like black pepper. Me, I like, oh, me, I like to put in, uh, sorry for that, I like to put in uh, uh, the red chili pepper. We call it in Italy pepperoncino. Guys, can you see it also on Instagram? I like it because it, it's a little bit more, uh, I don't know, he has more bite. JJ doesn't like very much the spicy. Me, I like the spicy, but you can also use pepper if you like. So at this point, point I can higher the fire a little bit. Here we go. So while this one is cooking, we are going on with the birthday. Basically, you know, there is some juice inside. You just need to, to gather all together. And of course, the, the, the chicken broth will give, of, of the vegetable broth, whatever broth you're using, will give a little bit of salty taste to your sweet peas. They're called sweet peas, so they're sweet, but you need a little bit of salty. And of course, the pancetta, is also a um, kind of uh, salty, so you have enough salt, believe me. And we put always salt also on the pasta, please. My mom said, remember people, when the water is boiling, put your salt in. The pasta needs salt. There is no pasta without salt, and you can use any kind of salt. I like to see, to use uh, sea salt, the thick one, and I put just a few drops inside because uh, it's uh, much healthy. It has a yodium inside, which is good for us, especially women, but it's good for everybody. So I'll use that one. Yoda is the sea salt. That's what I use for my pasta and normally for my all my kind of um, recipe. So while this one is start to cook, as you can see, can you guys see it? You guys on Instagram too? I can smell it. We are going to the birthday of the day. We start in 1831 when James Clerk Maxwell was born in Edinburgh, Scotland. Scotland people. He only lived to 48 but revolutionized physics. His work paved the way for X-ray and radar and even Einstein, Einstein said that his work was the most profound and fruitful than physics experience since the time of Newton. How about that? Even Einstein's work on relativity was built upon what Maxwell had done. So happy birthday to him and thank you. It was a pleasure to have me on Earth. And today in 1892, Basil Rathborn was born in Johannesburg, South Africa. Really did we ever had people from South Africa? We need to have some circle of love people from South Africa. So if you know anybody from South Africa, please invite them to join us. And if you are from South Africa, please let me know. So today, so Basil Rathbone was born in Johannesburg, South Africa, and is most known for playing Sherlock Holmes in films of the 1940s. Did you show the picture, JJ? There he is. I've never seen him, but uh, nice to know that. Johannesburg, South Africa. So. Today, in 1910, Mary Wickens was born in St. Louis, Missouri. I have a lot of friends in St. Louis, Missouri. Hello, guys, all there in St. Louis, Missouri. I've done two concerts over there, and I became friends. They have a very strong and great Italian-American community there. So, our guys in St. Louis. So, today, you had Mary Wickens that was born in St. Louis, Missouri. She was a famous character actress, and recent work was as a nun in Sister Act. Remember the beautiful version of the song is Doug Askin? I will follow him, of course I remember, wherever he will go, I love that song. And of course, my uh, guy God from uh, that movie. I remember the song, I love that movie, I've seen it so many times with Woody Goldberg. And do you know she played the first Mary Poppins on television even before Julie Andrews did the movie? No, I did not, but 
you know me, I Wikipedia everything. And so we just had the movie Mary Poppins Returns starring Emily Blunt. Then he, but before, in 1964, we had Mary Poppins starring Julie Andrews. And before her, we had Mary Weekends playing the first Mary Poppins and the one live Studio One in Hollywood presentation of CBS on December 19, 1914. Nine, and I think I had also a picture which, which makes her the first Mary Poppins, indeed. How awesome is that? Look at her. And we went from black and white, of course, to colors. And today, in 1951, Richard Thomas, the actor, was born in New York City, a lot of New York people over there, and turns today 69 years young. He's most known for playing John Boy in the hit series The Waltons. Well, Doug, I have never seen uh, the series, so. Doug also attached a pictures. Here is Doug with, uh, with Thomas. I show, you can show it, JJ. There it is. And he's together with Michelle uh, learned, learned that she was the mom of uh, um, um, Richard Thomas in the series. And already, so the television show, The Waltons, ran nine seasons starting 1972. It was about the life of a Depression era family in Virginia Blue Ridge Mountains. The show is seen from the point of view of an elder son, John Boy, played by uh, Richard Thomas indeed, who eventually goes to college and serves World War II and becomes a novelist. How awesome is that? I've never seen it and Doug, I wonder if it's possible to, to still catch this series, The Walton, somewhere. Can, and does anybody know for me that I have never seen? And in the meantime, my Pizzelli are cooking and smelling delicious. And today is going on with the birthday, 1953, Tim Helen, another one of my favorites, comedian and award-winning actor, was born in Denver, Colorado. Just been to Denver before uh, the COVID-19 uh, happened, uh, I think two weeks before. Uh, I did a concert in Denver, Colorado, so hello Denver, Colorado friends. He was born there in 1953 and turned today uh, 67. He starred in television show like Home Improvement, seen that. It was the voice of Buzz Lightyear in the Toy Story, seen that. And movies like Santa Claus. You know how much I do love uh, Christmas, so I've seen it in that movie. Last birthday of the day, 1981, Chris Evans was born in Boston, Massachusetts. A lot of friends in Boston too, hello guys. And turns today 39. He's famous for his role as Captain America and the Human Torch in the Marvel book, uh, blockbuster comic book movies, which I have not seen. It's not my kind, but I know him from uh, others. I think he was also in a television series. I know his face, so happy birthday to him. And of course, I always love also to announce birthday of people we know, people that normally we can touch and we know in personal life. And today is the birthday of my dear friend Angela Green. So happy birthday to you, dear Angela. She is, of course, in Staten Island, New York, together with Franco. I hope you guys are celebrating big time today. So happy birthday. I know you're watching together with friends and uh, family. Um, you promised that, you said that you have not bought the tickets yet, but you definitely will, so I hope so. I have so many fans and circle of love people in New York, and I know that you all guys have uh, not uh, bought the tickets, so the concert is June 26th. No excuses for anybody, because this time we are coming to you. You, you don't have even to move from your house to come to us. We are coming to you. Yesterday we rehearsed with Daniel and do you remember I said that I was making tiramisu and I did. I made a tiramisu at two and night. I might say my cookies were a little bit dry comparing to how because you know I made coffee at one and, and night so but Daniel nevertheless loved it and I left actually some leftover there and my tray for my tiramisu and that's Daniel last night enjoying my tiramisu. Look at that. Is it sweet or what? Well yeah, the small piece, but of course I left because it was late at night actually and we were in the middle of the rehearsal with Jerry Williams, so you know that as we singer, we cannot sing very well uh, after a meal, so, and we had Thai food last night and then of course we topped it and ended with the tiramisu, so I had even a smaller piece, but nevertheless. Tonight I don't have to sing, so I can make something delicious for me and I will be enjoying this pasta. So I just add a little bit more of juice because uh, it was almost cooking. So you remember I used actually for the pasta the, the, the peas in the can. So this one are gonna be melting a little bit more. When you use the frozen one of the fresh one, they, they stay a little bit harder so you can cook them longer. So I told you, the good thing is that this one became like more kind of a creamy all around the pasta, which is also good. There are, you know, 
the, the good and the bad. So, but I think the, the one uh, frozen or the fresh one, that require more time to cook, are even uh, more healthy, if you want to say. So, I am making farfalla pasta. And I suggest that you use the farfalle pasta because it's good today. I'm using the whole wheat, but you can use, of course, uh, any kind of uh, farfalle, also the, the normal pasta with uh, sweet peas. And I use pancetta, or you can also use, uh, if you prefer, uh, cooked ham in little cubes and pieces. If you buy the ham, as I said, and you are in America, make sure you buy the unsalted, the, uh, not the honing one, but the salted one. They have, here in America, you guys have the one with honing, and it doesn't go very well with this recipe. It's too sweetie and sweet, and it won't, it won't go well. So let me see. I put my pasta in before. And should always be. My pasta is also good, so. Let me do like this, so my water go down. Here we go. So the pasta is ready. I will take it in a second. And as you can see, my peas are also ready. So, to make it, oh yeah, JJ said, show the people, here it is. I took it out from the oven for a second. Can you guys see it? As I said, because this pea, of course, my oven, my little stove, yes, and it's, it's a good thing that, because normally when you remove your, your pan from uh, the normal stuff, it doesn't switch off. This one has like a security, so if I take the, things up, you see, it stops, which is safe. It's, it's like it's made for television, JJ, so I can never burn anything, as long as I remove my pan from here. So, this is ready. I just take from my refrigerator some butter, and I'm gonna put here, just like two spoons of butter, so it becomes even extra creamy. There we go. And, as I told you, I, this recipe goes well with parsley. Remember a few weeks ago, I bought a lot of parsley for one of my recipes. And what do we do when we buy all the delicious fresh parsley? We throw it away because we use it for one recipe and then so much leftover and we throw them away because it doesn't stay nice. So I told you that we can put them in with some water, wash it and cut it in pieces and put it in in a tray to make like ice cube, but then you know ice cube is like fresh parsley. Of course, there is some water on it. I will use two of them. And when you put it in, this is here, it will, of course, it will, the ice will melt and you're gonna have fresh parsley, like you just bought it. And you can do it with any kind of vegetable. I do it with my, pars with my parsley, with my basilicum. I do it actually also with the salis, with a lot of uh, salvia and uh, I don't even know how you call it. And it stays like this. This, this is, I made it actually, I think six weeks ago. And this is my last tray. I made two of those. So here we go. The butter and the parsley is just melting. Here we go. So remember that you can have the little things with all kinds of vegetables. You can freeze everything as long as it's watch, washed and cut in pieces like you want to have it in um, your recipe. So you wash it, you cut it in pieces and make sure that you dry it and then you add some extra water on it. And then you put it like it's an ice cube and uh, it's ready and fresh. Look at here. It's ready and as you can see, it's very creamy. There are some variation of this one where you can actually also put creme fraiche. Uh, we do it in the winter normally because, of course, if you put creme fraiche in place of the butter, it's extra calorie, but I, you can believe me, it's kind of uh, delicious. I'm already getting hungry. Now, in a second, my parsley will be all melted in my pot here, as you can see. It smells delicious. Remember, I didn't put salt because you, I put inside the, the, the chicken or vegetable bouillon and there is salt in this one. So don't put salt in this, there is already salt also in the pasta. And here we go. So while this is almost ready, I'm gonna put my pasta in here. Here we go. My farfalle pasta. As I said today, I use the old wheat one because I wanted to keep it more healthy. 
and they say whole wheat is better for us. So here is my pasta. Let me check my sauce. I would say it's ready. So I switch it off. I put it on top of my pasta. Here we go. You can also put the pasta in the pot, in the pot, you know. And uh, actually, my mom always think it's better. But here we go. You move them around. Are you guys hungry? This is always like, the part that kills me. I show you in a second. JJ said, so show it to everybody because I wish you guys were here with me to hit this pasta. By the way, while I'm putting out and serving the pasta to my director, JJ, at the other side of the camera, uh, some of you were wondering if, because many of you bought one tickets for one concert and you say we want to see them both but I'm not at home at noon uh, when you do the first one so today we will be talking to the space to see if it's possible to have the show staying uh, on the on the link that you're gonna get when you buy your tickets for 24 hours so you can watch it one time of course but at your own time between those 24 hours and Mark Chanuk is trying to figure it out if it's possible so for the moment it's not possible but as soon as I get an answer to that, I've, we've been asking because many of you were asking, saying we want to see them both, how can we do it? So as soon as I have an answer, you will have your answer too. And basically my pasta is ready now and I'm going to serve it on the plate. And as I said, I wish you guys were here with me. You just pour it on the plate like this one is delicious. Here we go, JJ, this is yours. Of course, what do we put on top of pasta? You already know, some parmigiano reggiano grattugiato, so some parmesan cheese. It smells delicious, guys. And this is the one for JJ. Guys, guys, that was the finger of JJ. JJ, this is yours. That's the hand of JJ. Bon appetito to JJ, and I'm going to make a little portion also for myself as you can see I will have some leftovers so who wants to come here this pasta by the way is also nice cold I don't like it cold I, I, you can eat it the day after but I would suggest you you warm it up a little bit you can put it on um, on, the, on the microwave even though I don't think it's the good way to go but you can put it you see here I have, I have it, not much just a little bit because I was a little bit gen generous with a portion, I put some Parmesan cheese and I'm gonna be eating it with you. Did I forgot to mention anything, JJ? Just, just asking JJ. Oh, I just have to ask everybody that is watching. I am Giada Valenti here from Las Vegas, but of course I am Italian. I am a singer, but of course on Saturday I've been cooking for you and I was born and raised in Venice, Italy. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel um, um, my YouTube uh, channel if you are uh, on YouTube but first let me have a bite of this pasta and then I say the rest I think I did a pretty good job you guys I wish you guys were here with me so mm, I will have my delicious lunch in a minute in a minute I want to say hello and thank all the people that are watching on Facebook on YouTube Periscope Twitch and um, every every day uh, of course it also goes on Twitter and LinkedIn Please subscribe to my, um, my uh, page, put your thumbs up, so like the page if you like uh, this video. I know many of you yesterday, guys, you were fantastic, you left all kind of uh, comments and likes under the video. If you are on YouTube, like on Facebook, you can write your comments on the chat like many of you I see are doing. And, but you can also write it under the video. If you write it under the video, put your like on the video and you write a comment or question there. I can see it also after the live and I can always answer you and I did it. Many of you had uh, some question, that's why I saw some question. Yesterday I asked uh, when um, the 100 days, so let's say June 25th is going to be 100 days that we have been together and of course then I'm going to give myself some day off. Mm. So my question to you was, which day of the week do you like? Would you like me to do Monday and Tuesday? and Friday and Saturday because I'm gonna do four times a week. So do you prefer Monday and Tuesday and Friday and Saturday, which is so three days during the week and one weekend day? And I thought maybe Friday so you can stay up longer of your maybe, or you prefer Monday 
Wednesday, I don't know, and Friday, and then Saturday. Uh, just let me know. I mean, uh, yesterday many of you said that three days, like my mother, three days was too little and four days was okay. There was only one, Wes Roberts, who said, you need more day half. But, Wes, I can't. I miss my circle of love. I miss all these people. So, I need to see you at least four times a day. Just let me know. Would Monday and Tuesday and Friday and Saturday be good? Of course, you're going to have some of the days you're going to have a guest, some of the day I will be singing, and of course there is always going to be a day when I will be cooking. And actually I will be, since I'm cooking, and many of you actually were saying, hey, you're drinking water, but what about drinking some wine? And it's funny because I come from the region of Veneto, Venezia, where we have a lot of winery, and I have a lot of friends and connections over there, so I'm going to have soon also some tips and people that will speak about wines to to go with the delicious food we are cooking because you know summer is coming we need to drink so i won't be drinking water we will be drinking delicious wine or at least knowing learn to know more about uh, wine uh, you know i use the covid 19 to learn stuff so and i want to learn more about wine i know a lot of uh, things about food but i never went into wine because i'm not a huge wine drinker so i thought hey let me uh, have some more knowledge so soon we will have also some uh, specific wines that will go well with the wine and people that they can um educated me and hopefully uh, together you also about the wines that are coming from my region and from the region of Tuscany which are the two uh, regions that are very famous in Italy for either uh, red wines or white wines. So are you guys excited about this wine thing? I surely am because I'm always uh, willing to learn and a, a good glass of wine with uh, some good food mm, is even better. My guests next week, you're gonna love them. It's gonna be like a, a kind of a, a, an Italian uh, week I'm going to have, um, of course, on Tuesday, a very famous comedian and actor. You guys that are in America, you know him because he's been touring with Frank Sinatra and he's been in all those nice shows for many, many years. He's been, he just wrote a book about his career and the, the name is Tom Dreesen. Uh, JJ is finding the pictures. There he is actually with Frank Sinatra. And what's the name of that presenter, JJ? Guys, what's the name of the presenter that is in that thing? You guys in America? Johnny Carson. I think Tom has been on Johnny Carson, I don't know, for like um, a record of uh, 70 times, of many, many, many times. Mm. So, Tom is going to be with me on Tuesday, then on Wednesday, talking. we talked yesterday about the diary of Donna Frank, uh, Anna Frank and the desire of being a writer, and I read the little part that you guys loved it very much, that she wrote when she was 14, and she was an amazing writer. She was writing basic. If you haven't seen the episode of yesterday, you can watch it on jada.live. And I read this part of the Anna Frank uh, uh, book that she wrote when she was 14 about her desire of becoming a, a journalist and to write books. And of course, we all know that she died uh, at 15 uh, during the Holocaust, but uh, the diary is amazing. And I know, uh, uh, Giuseppe Rainone, you said that you never read the book, but you're going to read it. I would say everybody should read the, the diary of Anna Frank. It's just the lessons in life. So in talking about writing and good writing, on Wednesday, my guest is a best-selling author, is Adriana Trigiani. I don't know if you know her. Some of her books uh, even went uh, as made in, into uh, movies. I know she made a movie recently um, produced by Oprah Winfrey. She's an amazing person, besides that she's an amazing uh, writer, very accomplished. She's a playwright writer. She's amazing. So Wednesday I'm going to have Adriana. I'm very much looking forward. She's a dear friend, but we never had uh, the conversation, so I'm very much looking forward to share all of that with you. And then on Thursday, another dear, dear friend of mine, Lina Prima. She's a singer and songwriter, and of course the youngest daughter of Louis Prima, the famous singer and uh, trumpet player she lives in new orleans but of course she was born and raised here in las vegas <clears throat> so for all of you guys uh, here in las vegas we're gonna have a vegas girl with us lina prima she's very sweet and she had a, a very nice um, ups and down kind of life and we would know how it, how it was to be the daughter of such a legend like louis prima and still being able to accomplish so much as she has done as an artist herself so that's gonna be next week i am gonna have my lunch now i think i said everything let me read if there's some wow diane what did diane said you dated johnny carson son 
Does Sal know that you did that? You know, Diane Fiorentino is this amazing lady here in Las Vegas that she teach me about sign language. So today I cooked for you guys. I forgot to do it with a pasta, farfalle pasta. And I made it with peas. This is peas and with pancetta. Because this is a pig and this is the pancetta. And then she told me that was a, I wanted, I asked her how it was to, to say there was a, a recipe that was uh, delicious and easy. So this is the sign for easy and this is delicious. It's almost like an Italian thing. So this was easy and delicious to make. I hope you guys are going to be making. So thank you, Diane, for all these sign languages. I've been enjoying it. Well, like my mom said, like, you don't move your hands enough. It's true. But now I can move my hand to say I'm very happy that you guys have been with me for 87 days every day. And I hope you have enjoyed this episode too. I hope you're going to buy the tickets for me and Daniel Emmett, June 26th, close to you. Guys, I promise you, I know many of you have been to either Daniel's concert, my concert. This is going to be spectacular, different, sweet. We were saying yesterday, you know, Daniel is very sweet and... I mean, me, I'm very sweet in my, but yesterday we were preparing for these things. This is going to be so sweet. We were imagining of people picking up t-shirts at a certain point and, and, and shedding a tear of joy while we would be singing certain songs. We, we had some of your favorite, of course. We didn't took out some of the songs that you always ask and request for us, but we also tried to, to do a lot, a lot. of the duets actually are new. Uh, we never sang together the song Daniel and so we and you're gonna be surprised about the choice of song there are song of the past of yesterday today tomorrow of all kind of different genre there is some country music in there of course anything that has a, a, a sweet tone and of course it's gonna be so special that um, I mean we will be singing probably for maybe even more people than we could ever gather in a theater because now we we can have uh, somebody watching from Australia South Africa Italy, Spain, France, England, uh, wherever guys you are and a lot of any kind of place here in the United States, you're not going to be there with us. It's going to be more people. So we're going to be missing you because, you know, normally for us performance, everything is dark. We sing, but we can feel you. Uh, like, I mean, Andrea Bocelli said once that he doesn't need to, to have eyes to see the beauty and to feel the audience because somebody was wondering, you, you don't get scared because you... you Maybe you don't get scared because you don't get to see anything. And he said, you don't need your eyes. You can feel that there is somebody out there. And this time, you're not going to be out there, but you're going to be there in, in your living room, which is going to make it uh, very special, kind of sad. But, you know, as I said, they are looking to... looks like they're closer than ever to find a vaccine. So who knows? Maybe four months from now, we cannot be together for now. You have to buy your ticket. And if you have any problem with buying tickets, I know Doug and Janet Sessa had some issues with the tickets, but everything is sold. You guys were able to buy for the both show. And I'm going to have soon in a couple of days the answer if uh, you can watch it uh, also uh, between 24 hours in a different uh, time slot for you, wherever you are. Uh, we'll have the answer hopefully in the next couple of days. Until then, buy your ticket, buy your ticket. I know there are plenty of tickets, but hey, it's nice for me and Daniel to know that you appreciate what we are doing because we are doing it for you and you're going to buy your ticket. So I wish you guys were with me. These are farfalle with piselli e pancetta. So farfalle pasta with um, pancetta and sweet peas. I wish you a good weekend. I'm going to be seeing you tomorrow Sunday. Grazie di tutto. And I will be seeing you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Ci vediamo domani ragazzi. Buon appetito. Qui si mangia. Mmm. Danke schön, dear old Danke schön. Thank you for seeing me again. Though I'm here in my solitude, I know you are there, and in my heart I smile again, and so I see. Waiting to see you, same time, same place, and I can't wait to say again. Danke schön, danke schön, danke schön, dear old Alfie Dussain. See you tomorrow. A domani.